to you. I lift my eyes to you, to you who sit enthroned in heaven. As the eyes of slaves look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a female slave look to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to you, Lord, our God, till he shows us mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy on us, for we have endured no end of contempt. We have endured no end of ridicule from the arrogant, of contempt from the proud. John 4 tells us a famous story that we're all familiar with. So Jesus is preaching, he's going through Samaria with his friends, and he becomes tired. He sends his friends on into the town to gather some food while, while he sits at the well. But I'm sure Jesus knew he was just about to have a divine encounter, because at 12 noon along comes a Samaritan woman to gather some water. A bit of an odd time to be collecting water in the peak of the, the day when it's scorching hot, but here she comes. And so Jesus starts chatting to her and he opens up with, will you give me a drink? This Samaritan woman knows her place in society and she responds to him, you're a Jew and I'm a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me for a drink? For Jews don't associate with Samaritans. And then as they get farther and deeper into conversation, we realise really why this woman's been rejected. And Jesus says to her, go call your husband and come back. And she responds, I have no husband. And Jesus points out that, well, you're right when you say that you have no husband, because the fact is you've had five husbands and the man you have right now is not your husband. What you've just said is true, says Jesus. And there we have it. The reason why we can assume this woman has been rejected by others in her community. The reason why she's come outside the village to collect water at the hottest part of the day, a time where likely nobody will be here. But yet Jesus is still talking to her and he, he opened with, will you give me a drink? In, a, in essence, he's saying, will you let me in? In verse 10, we see that Jesus says to her, if you knew the gift of God and who it is that asks you for a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. Verse 13, Jesus answered, everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water I will give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of life, welling up to eternal life. In verse 27, we see Jesus' disciples coming back and they're really surprised to see Jesus talking to the Samaritan woman and, and they rebuke her, they scold her. And so off she runs. Not only has she collected her water for the day, but she's now filled with a new hope and a truth that comes from God. And Jesus has successfully made out of her the very first evangelist, because she goes off and she tells all her friends. And so that's how we are called to be. We are called to be Jesus in this world. We learned yesterday that the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. But not only did he come to seek and save the lost, but he came to meet them where they were. And in the same way, we are called to meet people where they are. In the mess that they're in, in the sin that they're in, in the clothes that they're in. We're called to meet people and go to people where they are. You can only give your love out to other people if your own well, your own cup is filled and running over with love. And the way you ensure your cup is filled is just by spending time with Jesus every day, by reading your Bible, asking the Holy Spirit to just fill you every day. Let's pray over the day. Lord, I come before you in Jesus' name. I thank you for your word. Lord, I thank you that you have accepted each and every one of us and you met us where we were in the time that we needed you the most. Father God, we repent before you for any time that we have had arrogant or proud hearts, where we have not been Jesus to people who needed Jesus. Lord God, we repent of that and we ask you to renew our minds today. Lord, I ask you to fill us with your love, to remind us of your love and fill us till we are running over, Father God, so we can leak your love everywhere we go. And Father God, I pray for divine appointments to put us in the right place and make sure we're in the right place at the right time for the right people. Your kingdom come in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.